Neck pain problems often benefit from something called cervical traction. That's what this device is all about. Especially problems like herniated discs in the neck, neck arthritis, strained muscles, stenosis, and pinched nerves. Now, cervical traction is usually done with big machines. Sometimes there's big cables, there's harnesses that hold your head up in place, and they're expensive machines found in medical offices. This little device called the Neck and Shoulder Relaxer by RestCloud claims to provide cervical traction with all of the big machinery cables and harnesses. In this video, I'm going to give you my honest physical therapist opinion about the Neck and Shoulder Relaxer by RestCloud. First, let's talk about how cervical traction works. So in the neck, you have all these little bones right here. And when you have traction put on your neck, it means that something's pulling upwards on the head and it's taking pressure off of the spine here. It's taking pressure off of the joints where the arthritis happens. And it takes pressure off the muscles because sometimes muscles get real stiff and tight because they're working to hold the head up and make sure the neck can support it. And if you have muscle imbalances, usually there's one set of muscles that are working too hard. So getting that traction going through the head can allow those muscles to relax some. Now there's many ways to do cervical traction and those big machines that I talked about that you find in medical offices are the most commonly done way that do the doctors and chiropractors and physical therapists will do it. There's also inversion tables which are commonly used more so for back problems but it technically does hang you upside down which takes pressure off your neck. But those devices are a little more pricey than the rest cloud and they take up a lot more space for sure. So let me tell you some of the features of the rest cloud. This is a very lightweight device. It's made out of this very soft foam. It's stiff, but it has a lot of give to it surprisingly. And of course the, the shape of it, this curled shape allows it to, to have some coil to it where it, it, it gives, but then it, it wants to go back to this, its original position. The foam is soft. It doesn't stick to anything. It doesn't stick to your skin. So it doesn't pull hair either. It's quite durable. We've actually dropped this a, a couple times already and just bounces. And this comes in different colors and there's even a few varieties, other shapes that RestCloud makes. This is the, the one that we, that we found was the most fun for us. Now let me tell you some pros and some cons. We'll start with the pros. I absolutely love the shape. It's just a fun thing. It just makes you want to hold it and use it. So it's very attractive because of the shape of it. I also like that when you use it, it gives you a noticeable improvement. I laid on this at first for just a couple of minutes and could feel it already pulling on my neck. And I was impressed after lying on it for five, even 10 minutes, it just felt like it got better and better after that. So this can provide quite a noticeable difference if you're suffering from neck problems. And the other pro to this is this comes in at under $20, which is a couple of bottles of Advil or Tylenol, depending on, on where you are. Um, I like this a lot as an option against using pain relievers. Let me tell you some cons of this. Now this is light pressure. There's, there's a couple options. I'll show you more about that here in a moment, but it's not as much pressure as one of the cervical traction devices that you'd find in a doctor's office would provide you with. Usually those devices can be adjusted where you can take off pounds of pressure. You can take off like 20, 30, 40 pounds if you wanted to, to give a lot of traction through the neck. This isn't going to do that much. A head usually weighs anywhere between 12, 15 pounds, you know, depending on your size, of course, it could be a little bit more, a little bit less than that. So it's only using your body weight to provide the traction, but it's a noticeable difference. Another con is this is a one size fits all, which you know, I didn't think is a big deal. So far, everyone we, you, we've used it with here in the office, we, and we have, I'm 6'2", 225 pounds, and we have some small people that are about 100 pounds, and everybody's found that it works for them so far. But my initial thought about this was maybe we need to have like a pediatric size one. This one works for me being a big person, but maybe a small one would work um, just because it might be too tall. But so far, everything's worked fine. Another con is it's difficult to use this in bed because you do need to put this on a stiff or at least firm surface. And if your bed's very soft, you might sink into this and it may not give you the same effect. So that means that you might end up on the floor with this. And if you have trouble getting up and down from the floor, this may not work the best for you. You're going to have to find something stiff to put on your bed in order to get the best effect out of this. But if you use a clipboard or a thin hard book, that might be just fine for you. Now here in a minute, I'm gonna tell you how to use this, but before we do that, let me just go over some precautions on using the rest cloud to provide cervical traction or traction on your neck. Number one, if you start to use this, and if within a few minutes, I'd say literally two or three minutes at, at most, you start to get worse neck pain, this is probably not gonna be for you and you need to go talk to a doctor to see what's going on with your neck. 
This should feel good as soon as you start to use it. Otherwise, it's not the device for you. There's all kinds of neck problems that require different treatments, and this isn't gonna fit every single neck problem. You might need a different treatment than this. Another precaution is exercise caution if you have any sort of ligamentous problems, like any connective tissue disorders. The common one is gonna be if you're pregnant, especially if you're in the second and third trimester, there's a hormone going through your body called relaxin that could make your ligaments stretch out. There's potential for you to cause some harm or overstretch ligaments if you're being really aggressive. Now this is light pressure, so I think the risk is low, but just be careful if you're pregnant. And also if you have other connective tissue problems like Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is another one. Um, just use caution, make sure that you're feeling okay and go by that first rule that I told you. If it's getting worse or you feel like it's making things more painful, stop using this. There's some other treatment that you need to be doing instead. And if you've recently sustained a fracture, like you've broken a bone in your neck, you should not be using this to try to get pain relief. You need to get in one of those collars, those, those stiff collars that hold you in place from moving so that you can't turn your head. This is not something to use with any broken bones in your neck or anywhere in your body, really. All right, let me show you how to use this. Come on over here with me. This thing couldn't be simpler to use. All you're gonna do is put it down on the surface you're gonna use it on. You can flip it around this way or this way. If this longer part is facing the rest of your body, that's the, the harder part or the more aggressive part, which it's not super aggressive at all, but it's a little lighter if you flip it around the other way. So I'll show you this side first and then we'll go the other side. The next step is you just lie down on it and put your neck right here so your head's gonna be on this side. Looks like this. You can center it and get it in the right position and then you just lie on it and you just gotta give it a minute. When, when I first, lied down on this, I honestly thought, well, this is kind of anticlimactic. It doesn't do anything special. There's, there's nothing going on. And I, I gave it another few minutes and all of a sudden I felt the distraction happening. So you just have to kind of relax, wait and rest on it. And I would try this, this way first where it's on, on this more sloped side farther away from you just to make sure that it's gonna be okay on your neck. And then after you've done this for a few minutes, three, four, five minutes, if you feel like you want something a little bit more uh, slightly, very slightly more intense, then you flip it around the other way and lie on it this way and it just, it grabs the back of your skull a bit better this way and just gives it a slightly more still gentle pull and then you would just relax here. Yeah, this is something that you could do at the end of the day, um, especially if you have a computer job, if you um, tend to work at, at a desk where you're not moving around a whole lot. Even if you do have a more active job, maybe your neck's not in a good position and it starts to bother you, or if you get knots in your shoulders and neck area, this helps out a lot with just taking some pressure off the neck joints. Now the surface I'm on here is, it's soft, but it's still kind of firm. It's definitely gonna be more firm than most beds. Um, so you might wanna put something stiff under the, the rest cloud here to make sure that it doesn't sink down too much. A hardcover book, like a textbook, would work pretty well. You just want to make sure it's not too thick so it's pushing your head upwards. You want a thin one. Now keep in mind that this is only going to give you short-term pain relief. It's not designed to cure or to fix like a herniated disc problem or a pinched nerve. You're looking at using this in place of or, or in conjunction with pain medication or, or, or maybe you just stop using pain medication if this gives you enough relief from your neck problem. Let me give you my honest physical therapist opinion about the neck and shoulder relaxer from RestCloud. I really like this device and you know, I'm not endorsed by them. I bought this under my own decision. Uh, they haven't given me anything and um, I can vouch for this for sure. It, it, it is a great introductory neck traction or cervical traction tool to get some relief. And I think this is gonna shave off some of the pain medication that you might be taking if you're suffering from a neck problem. It might buy you that bit more of comfort when you're really uncomfortable, if you can't get to bed comfortably, I, I could see you lying down on this and taking a nap. And, and it, it's, it, it feels very comfortable and, and safe to lie on, as long as you don't have any of those concerns that I mentioned earlier in this video. Another thing I like about this is if you feel like you benefited from this, like you put this under your neck and it, it relieved you, that's a good sign that you might benefit from some more advanced cervical traction in case you're, you're considering going to a healthcare provider that has cervical traction in their office. You can be more certain that it's going to help you out if this worked for you. 
And of course, this is all natural. You know, it's not putting in anything inside your body. So it's a great alternative to using pain medication to hopefully reduce your, your use of it or get rid of it completely. But just keep in mind, this is only a short term pain relief product. This is not going to solve a problem for the long term, which let's talk about that. How do you get long term pain relief for a neck problem like stenosis, arthritis, a herniated disc? pinched nerves like cervical radiculopathy is the medical term for that or strained muscles in your neck well getting long-term relief for those issues typically involves addressing the root of the problem and there's usually a muscle imbalance at the root of the problem and we talk all about that here on this youtube channel this channel is focused on making videos with helpful tips advice exercises and stretches for a variety of conditions so go check out our playlist tab on this channel or you can even go down to the description below and we've linked some helpful playlists that might benefit your specific neck problem we talk all about solving the root problem for some of these chronic conditions because we strongly believe that there's muscle imbalances that you can control you can get stronger in the weaker muscles and allow the overdominant muscles to behave more normally if you begin to do the right treatment, the right exercise, or the right combination of things, which this might fit into your treatment plan. So I encourage you to peruse our channel and go check that out. And I forgot to mention too, if you wanna to buy one of these, we've linked it in the description below. You can get it off of Amazon. So go use our link and you'll be supporting our channel. If this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up. Please share this with somebody you think needs to learn more about this. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the helpful videos we post each and every week. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.